Hey, it's me, Aries0083, and I got a review for you guys. I decided to do Starscream first because he's become one of my favorite Earthrise figures. Got my notes here. So, what's my first thing? This is Air, Air Commander Starscream from the Decepticon Army. I got this guy, this particular version, I got him online at Macy's. Uh, he, when I purchased him, he was $23.99. Right now, he's on sale for $24.99. Well, I think the sale, I think the sale ends November 30th. As of this recording, it's November 30th. It's not December yet. But if you want, Macy's has him and they have Hoist. Hoist is $15.99. But Best Buy also has him, but it's a trick. <laughs> they also have Hoist, but it's also a trick. Uh, Best Buy, they have him, I believe, for about, I think it's twenty nine ninety nine. But you have to read the description on the website. It says it's um, you could either get Starscream or Grapple. So it's up to them. Whatever they throw in the box, that's what you get. So, <laughs> if you're ordering from Best Buy, you can uh, you can have to gamble. Starscream is I my first version of Starscream that I got I got from Target. Um, there's two Targets in the area. One has them for one had them for twenty nine ninety nine. The other one had them for thirty two ninety nine. For some reason, they're both in Brooklyn, but I guess one place is a little more affluent it's <sighs> if you ever encounter the problem of having the same toy with different prices in target just have them price match it if you really want to take it to the customer service um like the returns desk and they'll price match it for you but in order for them to price match it, it has to be online uh, I mean, it has to be available to order on the store that you're going to price match it with. Even Target themselves, you could price match, match it with Target. But, like I said, it has to be in stock for them to price match it. So we're going to take a look at the box, since this is my first Earthrise review. And we have these Seeker Jets. Um, I do like that now... I don't know if they did it with Siege. Uh, they you have the Cybertonian version of the name. It's Staskin. He's WFC War for Cybertron number nine, Earthrise nine, E nine. You got this art on the side, which is basically Siege was like, "Let's get out of here." They were going up into space, and now it's we're all gonna die. <laughs> As everyone looks stoically on, and the Quintessons is the only one that realizes that death is coming for them when they crash and you have Shockwave being busy. And I think this is Double Dealer over here, sitting on a chair. Here you have the 3D renders of the toy. I like the 3D renders um, when when they release the, the toys for like Toy Fair, they usually show the, the renders and I like them. They make for good wallpaper. And here you have Art of Starscream yelling at someone, go and save the city. No, well, he's more like, go, get me my coffee, Skywarp. Do it quickly, post haste. <laughs> But it, someone pointed out in another review that this is actually Siege Starscream. If you look at his chest, uh, this part in the top, and the, the cone. Also, the these parts that stick out. They're, and the, even the wings. That's a Siege Starscream that's yelling. While people are floating outside being like, Starscream, come and guest. The, um, the kingdom art is okay. The height of art awesomeness was Power of the Primes with Blot. I love that that picture. I think it was Marcelo Materi that did it. 
But Siege and Earthrise is kind of, eh, I'm not too crazy about the art. It'd be great if they did credit the artist, though. Um, I, I know Ken Christensen is one of the artists that does a lot of their art, but even Sarah Petra Duroche, uh, if that's how you say it, um, even she did some art. I think it was Power the Prime Star Scream that she did the art for. Uh, my personal history with Starscream is I've never been a fan of the Decepticons when I was a little baby. I loved the Autobots, the cars, you know, with the rubber tires and you could roll them. Uh, the only thing that I could remember about the Seekers is that most of the times kids would lose their, their the big wings and the little wings. So you'd have this like train of a jet. <laughs> uh, in the cartoon, Starscream, he he was real. He's distinct from any other character because of his voice. Um, Chris Lada, who also did Cobra Commander. Did that unique screamy <laughs> effeminate voice that a lot of people have tried to replicate but um haven't quite gotten it it's like you can get jake foshi to sound or um on john bailey to sound almost like peter cullen but i don't think anyone's come close to to imitating chris lada uh, with that voice. Uh, I I like doing the impression of Starscream, but it's mostly based on uh, Tom Kenny's version of Starscream from Animated. Uh, I, I <laughs> used the SpongeBob voice for Tailgate, like, hi, Cyclonus, how you doing? But Starscream is more eviler. It's, <laughs> it's like Skywarp. The Nutcracker. Where's my gifts? Where is my crown? I demand I have a crown for my coronation. <laughs> now let's talk about the bad boy here. Earthrise Starscream. He... He has a... Great design, great mode. Let me look at my notes. Upgrades th that he has from from the classics from 2005. I mean 2006 is that he has a ball jointed head. I think the 2006 version had a swivel. He also has ankles, which is awesome. I like that they're adding engineering in ankles to all m most of the transformers that they can and also the the wings do fold in and out which the universe the classics version didn't have uh tf wiki says that the elbows i see I guess this little piece here that yeah, we'll see later. The elbows and tail fins. This tail fin are prone to photo degrading in package. That means they they get lighter. And the red paint on the torso, which you can see is kind of glossy. And the paint on the head, which is glossy, I like the shiny head, is prone to chipping. So, look out. I haven't noticed these problems on any of the Scott, um, Star Screams that I've picked up. So, your mileage may vary. Also, it's been... It's been... 
<clears throat> it's been reported that there is only one version. <laughs> Looks like only one person found and confirmed that there was a star scream with a sky warp head, which is the yelly, yelly head. Which, from my sky warp, This this custom guy, this guy that I painted. Let me see. Well, can I do that? Yeah. This is a bo star screen body, but this is a sky warp head. So I took the star screen head that was on this body and gave it to my um my sky warp. This is gonna be ghost star screen or in the cell or maybe um. Or maybe Slipstream. Starscream has been repainted into Thundercracker and Skywarp, of course. And he's also been retooled into Thrust, Dirge, and Ramjet. The, the cone heads have different chest and the different part down here. But for the most part, they're, they have the same parts. Except for the head. They have a fa fake cone on their head. <laughs> there are some paint elements that are missing. As a customizer, when I look at things like this, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to panel line this on his knee. and panel line that. This thing. These things I will paint. I'll panel line that and this. And I'll make, I'll put panel line those lines up here I I in one of my videos my live streams I did mention how I love that designers are able to put a whole bunch of detail on these guys because it's just a 3d model it does take time to do but I don't think it costs any more to add some detail as to take away it's not like hey this thing on his chest take that off because that's 25 cents that that i don't think that happens with design the siege version had a smirk of thundercracker had a smirk so i swiped that head with star scream but this guy this head has enough personality in it that it does look like he's star scream like he wants to smirk or yell at you or <laughs> demand stuff. Here's Run Amok. He's a Voyager. I'm not. He's a deluxe. Starscream is a Voyager. So Starscream should tower over him. Here's R.E.D. Optimus. Optimus is the best out of the R.E.D. guys. But I do like... <laughs> I do like that Starscream is as big um, as Optimus. He's bigger than Megatron. Starscream is what I would call in Spanish a manganzón. <laughs> He's a big... <laughs> He's a big child boy. <laughs> But I I like the fact that he's so whiny, but he's huge. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. I, I don't know. I, I love that. People should use that more. <laughs> and Starscream's articulation is standard. You know, you got the standard articulation. But what I'm going to do, instead of going through the motions... There's a thing that I like to do. I call it the pose, basically. It, I believe it shows off all the articulation. If, if the figure can do the pose, then it has the right amount of articulation. Usually it's with a gun. Then you got the uh, 
it's a basically like a flying pose, but. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, he doesn't have a gun. The cool thing about Starscream, the way his feet work, is you can use them to help him stand better. So the pose is basically like lunging forward. He has no waist. So you can't turn it. But besides that, if he had a gun, because of the no ray, the no ray is blocking. Oh, let me, you can, this is crazy. You can use his no ray as a gun, which... <laughs> All right, there we go. So basically, that's the pose. That's the pose that I put most of my action figures in. I'm right-handed, so I put the guns in the right hand. You see his skirt here impedes a little bit of the articulation. Because of the transformation, there's no waste. Because the... the the cockpit has to tab into here. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let's look at the jet mode and do the miracle of science. Which is money <laughs> to a miracle of my wallet. Here's the jet mode. We transformed him already. <laughs> Let me get the robot mode out of here. I do love the jet mode. It's one of the things that I that's made me like say, God damn, this thing is awesome. Look at that. But then when you start looking underneath. The awesomeness goes away. There, there is um, there's a company called Non F N O N N E F, and they make accessories for uh, um, for figures that don't have them. I got the the Lambo spoilers for uh, Sideswipe. And red alert. I also got the hound, hound's shoulder missile and a gun. For Starscream and the Seekers, they sell missiles that you could put in here, like three missiles. You're supposed to pick the the gun here, and then put the missiles in here. And I I want to say it's them. Uh, they they sell landing gear that goes here. Uh, but it also covers this gap. So you don't have this horrible jet gap here. <clears throat> I have seen someone do a 3D print of like a, a bomb that goes in here and covers this hole. But the jet from the top and maybe the, a little bit side is great. It starts getting bad as you look at the bottom. But most Transformers, the bottom half of the Transformer is always a robot hiding. I do like that there's a cockpit in there somewhere. You can see the seat. I think if you can get in there and customize it, you could probably also paint the, the control panel here. I've noticed that Starscream has a lot of flash, which I think is adorable. 
because it lets you know that this is a toy that was built by somebody. It's basically like a sophisticated model kit. Just hope the working conditions of the people building these things are good. Probably so-so, but mm, what can you do? And here there's like flash. Let's see. It's a weird. Uh, the final verdict after an hour and 15 minutes for this toy. Uh, people are going to love this. <laughs> I might just put up this version to see what people say and then edit it. So the good thing, the pros about Starscream, pros and cons, because I don't think I'll be able to separate them. I didn't separate them in my notes. The good thing is that Starscream is part of Wave 1, and he's easy to find. Um, internet personality. Vangelis uh, mentioned once that <laughs> Wave 1 of a, of a toy line, uh, of a Transformers toy line, is always the, the easiest one to find. Like, it's easy to find Hoist, and not so easy to find Wheeljack. Easy to find cliff jumper if you look. His stores are sometimes are still crowded with these guys. Target had a buy one get one half off, and I went in and to my amazement they had new figures. To my disappointment, it was the entire the entirety of Wave One Deluxes. So I got myself for thirteen bucks each. Uh, hoist ironworks wheel jack and cliff jumper <laughs> but as part of wave one he's extremely easy to find unlike thundercracker and skywarp which were exclusives uh, but uh i had luck with the exclusives so i was able to find them i, I think the um, it, it was equal parts vigilance um plus equal parts being looking for them early now i if you want to find the the two pack the secret two pack of thundercracker and skywarp i i think it's near impossible to find them target has uh, on their listing they say that they're not delivering this item it's been discontinued from delivery so you're out of luck if you want Thundercracker and Skywarp, you're going to have to go to eBay, sadly. But this guy, he's easy to find. The alt mode is decent. The price is a little steep. Like $32 was the maximum that I've, I've paid for him. I, I, I think Voyagers should cost $20 to $22. But I'm not going to be a jerk and complain because when Voyages were $22, we had Ripper Snapper. There's Ripper Snapper next to, he was supposed to be in the size comparison, next to Starscream. Power to Primes, still use the ball joints, which I used to pledge to tighten. So Ripper Snapper has a lot of ball joints. Earth Rise and Siege, no ball joints. And I think that makes the price go up. I tried to take apart the, tried to take apart this star screen to paint. The most I could take apart was from his upper torso. It took off the, the lower arms, the head, I took off the cone, like the jet, the inside part. I, I took off this because it's pegged in here. Like there's a mushroom peg. I took, I took off most of the top. And the legs, 
see there's pins here. There's pins everywhere here. So I've realized that the the reason, one of the reasons, I'm sure it's the stupid box is one of the reasons too. Uh, uh, one of the other reasons that Siege and Earthrise went up in price was because they took out the ball joints of most of the figures. So $32, uh, I'm not comfortable with but it's logical. It makes sense. I understand why $32 would be a price. But the best price, the perfect price would be $20 lower. Or $20 to $23. Or $24. Um, if you can get his seeker friends, then do it. If it's not an arm and a leg. If you have the talent, maybe you can buy extra star screams and just paint them. Maybe get repo la labels. I mean, get toy hacks labels and put them on your, your customs. But he is an awesome figure. I would recommend him. He's a great pre Christmas present, great birthday present. Everyone loves jets. <laughs> And after you buy Starscream for your kid or for for yourself, everyone's going to love Starscream. Even the ladies who already do. Alright, I'm Aries 83 and I'll see you later, carburetor.